is one of my ranting videos where I'm just going to rant about something. So if you don't want to hear me rant about something, don't watch this video. Today, I'm going to talk about JavaScript a little bit and scripting languages in general, but definitely JavaScript. In the last rant video, I talked about HTML and how it's not a programming language, but how much I still love it. Well, a lot of people talk bad about JavaScript and about how slow it is, which is just an over-exaggeration, and how bad it is for some reason. I love JavaScript. I use it for a lot of things. Now, in the last video, I talked about how I used HTML for GUI for a lot of my programming languages. And it's true, even when I have a lot of shell scripts that I use HTML as the interface for. And yes, I can use uh, you know, a shell script and generate the HTML directly and that'd be fine, but really you're not getting the full benefits of HTML if you're not incorporating some JavaScript in there. And that's not a bad thing. Now, some people complain about how JavaScript is slow. It is not the fastest programming language, it's a scripting language. Scripting languages generally are slower than compiled languages. So yeah, JavaScript's gonna be slower than something like C. Some people, I'm looking at you, Ryan Lunduk, have said, well, the reason JavaScript is bad, one argument for that is if I came to you and said, I rewrote the Linux kernel in JavaScript, you would be like, wow, that's great, it's gonna be so much better now. Yeah, that's a valid point, but it's still a bad argument because if you came to me and said, I rewrote the Linux kernel in Bash, or I rewrote the Linux kernel in Python, or Perl, or any scripting language. I would not think that's a great thing. I would be amazed if you did that. <laughs> but it's, it's a not a valid argument because all those languages are good. I love Python. I love Bash. I think JavaScript is great as well. But I wouldn't write the Linux kernel in, or any kernel. Some programming languages are more focused on other things. And something lower level like a kernel needs a lower level language like C. That being said, doesn't make JavaScript bad. Another argument, I'm going to look at you, Brian Lunduk, who is kind of the way you constantly complain about JavaScript kind of prompted this video. <clears throat> you complain about websites and how poor a lot of them run and how, you know, you click on a tab on a web page and it supposedly uses a gig of RAM to load up the, the drop down menu or you're scrolling through a page and all of a sudden ads load and the whole page jumps down and you lose where you're reading. And yeah, those things are horrible and it happens a lot. But it's not because they're using JavaScript. It's because they're bad programmers. Because a lot of web designers are just that. They're web designers. They're not programmers. They don't know how to program properly and they try to jam all these things there. And not only that, but they're putting ads in the, in the pages. Which are going to cause problems because they're pulling these from all different places and they're trying to pop out in front of you. It's not because they're using JavaScript. It's because they're written poorly. And I think a lot of time when people complain about different languages, their complaints are invalid because they're complaining about the language and really it's the developers. And yeah, there are a lot of people who are not programmers, real programmers, that use JavaScript on web pages and people go to them and they run like crap. I will say for one, I am not the best programmer in the world, but I test my software. I go, when I put something on my website, I go to Walmart or Target or wherever they have computers and phones and stuff, and I'll go to the cheapest, smallest phone, you know, this, this, this 50 or $100 phone or tablet, and I check it on there and see how well it runs. And yeah, if I'm making a video game, it's probably not going to run very well on there, and, and maybe if I did write it in some other language, it might run a little bit better on there, but chances are a $100 phone isn't going to run a 3D first-person shooter very well. And But yes, using a, a faster language would help in those cases. But on my website, for example, there is some JavaScript in there that loads the video search and you can start typing and it starts filtering out the videos. And I can say for sure it works pretty good. Even though my code is not the best, not even my, the JavaScript, but my server-side software isn't the best in that example because I'm not using a database because I designed that years ago and it's just pulling from a flat plain text file that uh, once a day I have a cron job, pull my newest videos and dump them into this text file and add to the text file and then I have either a PHP or Bash script, I can't remember what I wrote it in because it was so long ago, you know, basically just grep through it and output based on your search. But it still works great. In fact, I pulled out a pretty old computer, two pretty old computers I have today. One that uh, has uh, half a gig of RAM, a little netbook, and another one that uh, only has 750 megabytes of RAM, so a little more than half a gig. And you know what? It took two or three seconds for it to search the videos and display 
the icons. But that's not bad for an old machine like that when you're searching through a couple thousand videos, grabbing the thumbnails from YouTube, so from an external site, and loading them up there. Uh, and it's doing the search every key you press, so I think that's pretty good. And again, it could be written better. That being said, JavaScript is not the problem. I think it would be a lot worse if I had a plain text, plain HTML that you had to do the search and then hit submit and the whole page reloads. And you need JavaScript if you're going to do those real-time searches and stuff like that. So, JavaScript is not bad. It's better than just using plain HTML. Now, now, you might be saying, I like using the shell when I'm web browser and JavaScript is just horrible for that. I agree. There aren't really any shell web browsers that support JavaScript. But if the page is written properly, there's going to be some sort of API. If you were to look at the page in a GUI browser, you will be able to see the network request. And if the page is not trying to hide it from you, you should very easily be able to pull that information. So basically, you open up my website in Firefox or Chrome, and you open up the developers tab, start typing, you'll see that it's used calling a PHP code. Well, now you can call that from your shell, and it, you can pull that same information without even going into a browser, just using wget or curl. But I've gone a step further, and it doesn't take much to add the shell functionalities to your website. If you go to my website with wget or curl, it will automatically give you instructions on how to use the website using wget and curl. And then you took it even a step further. There's a link on my website that says shell that you could actually, if you were to go there in a text browser such as uh, W3M or links, you can use the page that way where it actually gives you a search field. But you can use my page just using wget. Even if I didn't add those features in there, you could figure it out. But I put that there for you and I'll probably do a video on that. But I just wanted to point out JavaScript is not as bad as you think. The problem is bad programmers. If you have a good programmer, you can make any programming language, even ones that are crappy, do some decent stuff.